Hi, this is Amanda from Hook'em Creations and welcome to our channel. Today we are starting a new series called Knitting Basics and it's that simple. We are going to go through the basics of knitting. How to cast on, how to cast off, how to knit, purl, all that. We're going to go, we're going to go through all that. And as much as I would love to go through and talk about all the supplies in this video it's gonna take a separate video just in itself to talk about the supplies for knitting because there is a bunch I've been knitting since I was seven years old and I wish I had YouTube when I was a kid I will I will say that when I first started knitting I learned from a kit that I got from my local Michaels or Joann's at the time I did look at my local Joann's uh, just the other day and they still have the exact same kit that I purchased uh, all those years ago. Now it has improved. The book is much smaller, <laughs> but it's still there. They uh, have the knitting needles, the uh, all the e extra accessories you may need or may want when you start knitting as well as a step-by-step -step tutorial book and I think it was around $20, $22 um, at Joann's, uh, Michael's may have it, uh, you just might need to look and see the difference in pricing um, between Michael and Joann's and Hobby Lobby and or any other craft stores uh, near you. But I learned from that kit and Honestly, um, I had there's no harm in getting a kit to start off when you're learning how to knit. They even have them for crocheting, so if you are also wanting to learn how to crochet, uh, they have the kit for crocheting as well. Um, or you can just, you know, grab some supplies to get you started, a couple of knitting needles, some yarn, and get into it. Now. The number one thing I hear every time someone talks to me about knitting is about how scary it is to just like the idea of them actually knitting scares them. And I'm here to say it's not scary at all. It's actually a lot of fun and I understand why it can be scary to some people because you're working with two hands instead of one. And some people are like, I can't get my mind wrapped around of uh, working with two hands. And whereas with crocheting, you're working with one hand and your other hand is holding the yarn. I get that, I really do. But I'm also here to say that there is no one right way to knit. There's actually multiple different ways to knit. Um, there's different ways to cast on. There are multiple ways to cast off. Um, in this series, I'm going to teach the, uh, the long tail cast on, which is one of the, <laughs> which is one of the very first, uh, cast on tutorials that almost anyone who's knit in knitting, uh, knows how to do. Anyone in, who's a knitter, uh, knows how to do a long tail cast on. That's like... 101 <laughs> in a way uh, so there so yeah so in this series I am showing you what I was taught and you may find it it works or you may find that it doesn't and that's totally okay it's okay to find, say no that doesn't work for me I'm gonna go try this style and it may work for you that's okay that's a good thing that means you're finding something that works for you and that's the way it should be. Also, you may find that there are two different ways to hold your yarn. There's the continental way to knit and then there's the English way to knit. And it's very fascinating actually. The English way is where the yarn is in your right hand and you are throwing the yarn, which if you continue into the series, you'll see that I am a English knitter, more so than a continental knitter. The continental knitter holds the yarn in their left hand, 
or the opposite hand from your working needle and they it's more of a picker so the needle is picking up the yarn rather than wrapping throwing the yarn around the needle which is more my which the English way is a little bit more my style but you may find that the continental style is yours or you might find another style that works for you it's up to you you are the knitter you do what is comfortable to you there is no right or wrong way as long as you make the item that you are making and it looks fabulous that's the whole point of knitting now recently there is this huge hype and it's been around for a couple years now, the big hype of the knitting machines. This, especially the circular knitting machines. Now, everybody can knit with these machines and people love it. And it's great. I own two of them and it's so much fun. And it's, it's so much fun that my three-year-old does it with me. And he uh, may have said that the little one is his. Yeah, no, it's not his. But he enjoys knitting uh, the, with the machine and he tries to do it with me and we have a good time. We have a, good, we have a blast uh, doing the knitting machines. And the other type of knitting machine, which is the long board, the very big long board with all the itty bitty needles and such, which you can do a bunch of pattern work, you can purl, you can do knit, uh, you can do cables you can do a lot of things with the long board knitting machine and you can actually make full-on gar garments uh, like uh, sweaters and things of that the other knitting machine that's out there which I've wish I could have but it's thousands and thousands of dollars and I don't have <laughs> room in my budget to get it yet knock on wood the other knitting machine is the sock knitting machine and these are gorgeous they are beautiful and I would love to get my hands on one of those unfortunately it's gonna take some time before I can get one of those and actually you know bite the bullet and buy one myself but in the meantime I got what I got <laughs> and I'll and I enjoy it I, I enjoy them so there are knitting machines, you may enjoy the knitting machines, or you may be like me who enjoys the actual process of hand knitting. And I love hand knitting, I love hand knitting. It's very soothing and relaxing, and it's uh, easy to get uh, small projects made or, and just throw it in your bag, throw it in your purse. I have a nice big purse where I can throw my small projects in and I can take it with me to uh, get my nails done and such or again pedicures you can sit there and just enjoy some knitting and it's very relaxing and soothing to do that so in the next video I'm gonna have a video on all the all the different types of supplies for knitting because there are so many different types of knitting needles I want to take the time to actually explain each and every single knitting different types of knitting needles and the supplies like the stitch markers, the row counters, the cap, the needle caps, and many, many, many other things that may be useful to you as a beginning knitter. So if you want to continue on with this series and watch more of our videos, be sure to hit the subscription button and ring the bell and get notified on when our next video comes out. Also, it, to push this video out to more viewers much like yourself, hit the like button and leave a comment below. Also, to help us continue with making these videos, be sure to buy us some coffee. The link is in our description below. But until next time, happy crafting.